it's Amber. Let's go over what is new in 6.0 for Evolve Mechanical. 6.0 has a lot of new features, enhancements, and amazing changes to the ribbon. The ribbon is looking nice and full. The utility panel within the ribbon will catch your eye with the amount of new features. The first new feature within our utilities panel that we'll be talking about is Colorizer. Colorizer allows you to be able to define elements that will change a color that you choose. And what is nice about this feature is it also allows you to be able to define the views that will be impacted. So you can either define the whole project or certain views. So instead of applying filters and going through and having to apply a, a view template to every single view, you can set up your colorizer rules. The next new feature within the utility category that we'll go over is the report manager. I'm really excited about this feature. The report manager allows you to be able to import in reports, make custom reports, edit reports, and print reports. We have a ton of mechanical reports that you're able to import in. Within our Foresight website, there are sample files that I definitely recommend downloading because within the sample files, that is where you'll be able to find the reports that we have already set up for you. And that way you're able to utilize the reports right away. And you can definitely modify the reports that we ship with. So if you want to be able to add a company logo or pull in different parameters, things like that, you can definitely do that. The last feature within the utility category that we'll be talking about today is the Evolve Properties. This feature is extremely customizable and a dockable feature. You're able to utilize multiple Evolve features within this feature to be able to filter down information to be shown when selecting elements. Now let's talk about some other new features that are not within the utilities panel. So let's talk about two new features within the Quick Tools. So the first one is the optimized fitting tool. This allows you to be able to set a tolerance, then you're able to first select your fitting, then select the straight piece that you want to be consumed. If you use Evolve Electrical, the next feature will look very familiar. In this release, we've also focused on core functionality. So now you're able to rotate X, Y, and Z based on the angle that you define within the dropdown of the MEP rotate tool. Moving along to the last new feature that we'll be talking about today, and that is our disconnect elements. This feature does what the title says, it disconnects elements. So in the opposite of our reconnect tools, this allows you to be able to disconnect elements so you can easily make adjustments when needed. So the last feature that we're gonna be talking about today is an enhancement. So this is one of many enhancements that are within the 6.0 release, but this feature is for points. So when it comes to manually placing points, it's gonna look a little bit different now. The options will look similar, but now you're able to choose between a single point or a grid point. Also within the point manager, you'll be able to include linked points to be shown within your point manager. And the one thing I'm extremely excited about is being able to import points in. So within this video, I've gone over a lot of new features and one enhancement out of the many, many new features and enhancements this video has been extremely high level, so stay tuned for more in-depth videos on each feature. And as always, if you want to see more, please visit our website and cross a demo. Thank you.